it in a weird place. Bleah. Bleah. All right, guys, welcome to the WWE Universe main event, week six, year one. We got a little bit out of schedule because of Star Wars and all that, but we are back on schedule now with Eva Marie versus Layla. Eva Marie, her first match this month. Eva Marie is currently three at one. She went three in a row before she was finally defeated. But still three and one for the month, not bad. She'll be looking to have at least a successful month this month again. And next up, we have Layla. Layla wrestled once last month, early last month, and was not seen on TV again. So this will be her second match. She's one and zero. So hopefully there's no ring rust. She's going up against someone who wrestled four of the last five weeks. This will be her fifth of the last six. She's only, including this match, wrestled twice in six weeks. Hopefully she's been hitting the gym, training, bumping, making sure she's still good to go for her in-ring raid turn, which is now. And as usual for the first match, I need to go get myself a water. Booty shot, booty shot. Ah, it's got my hand. Layla off to an early advantage with that drop kick. Working Eve Marie while she's on the ground. Off the ropes. Oh, misses with the drop kick. Eve Marie goes to grab wildly, but also misses. And Layla saved there by Eve Marie's mistake. Now Layla back to work, and Eve Marie on the ground. Oh, and Eve Marie with a Russian leg sweep. Trying to turn that momentum back towards her. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, and look at that. Sharp older to the, Sharp older? Sharp elbow to the face. Layla still fighting back. Oh, missed with a shot there. Ate an elbow in response. And Eve Marie just keeps cutting Layla off with these short kicks to the gut. Following it up with a backbreaker. Oh, and stretching the spine. Back of the head, hitting that canvas hard. Feel like everything is going Eva Marie's right. Eva Marie, ah! Eva Marie's way right now.
Going up to the top rope now. What has she got in mind? Oh, she eats an elbow. Layla turns around. Oh, and look at that. Like a off the top rope mount. Now working the leg of Eva Marie. Oh, there's a kick to the guard. Oh, DDT. Is that enough? Has Eva Marie ended this match? Into the cover. Legs hooked. One, two. No, kick out at two. Eva, though. Knee to the back of the head. Shoulders down. She's stalking her. Oh, up and over. And surely that's it. Eva hits the manoeuvre. One, two, three. And Eva Marie, off to a flying start this month. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for Layla. That takes Layla to one and one and puts her very middle of the, middle of the pack with 50%. Four and one. He's even Marie eighty percent, and that will put her near the top of the rankings. Uh, congratulations to Eva. Been working very hard. She demonstrated that tonight. Next up we have Santino Morella and Bad News Barrett and a, a quick look here these guys very similar match to the ladies that just performed for you so Santino Morella coming out first he's four and one he had a very good first month suffered his first loss only recently that Cobra there demonstrating has been very destructive. So he's four and one. his opponent, Bad News Barrett. Bad News Barrett, again for the sixth week of this universe, he has only wrestled once and he is zero and one. So six weeks in, he's still looking for his first win. And he has quite the challenge against Santino, who has wrestled six times in six weeks, including tonight. With four wins and one loss, can the yet to find a victory, Bad News Barrett, get the win? Santino quickly asserting himself over Barrett, pushing him into those ropes. 
Oh, but Barrett with a cheap shot. And you see how mad Santino is. Oh! Big boot. And now just repeated kicks to Santino while he's on the ground. Oh, and another boot. And Barrett here. Wrestling quite a brutal style against Santino. All strikes so far. And here's more striking. Santino makes it to his feet, but cut off by yet more strikes from Barrett. Santino looking to slow this down with a wrestling hold. Oh, and throwing him in over the top rope. And that's going to slow Barrett's assault down. Santino walking Barrett over to the ropes. Oh, he went. Oh, look at that! On the second attempt. Oh, now dropping knees to the face. Santino using college wrestling skills. And Barrett just can't make it to his feet. Someone just asked me when we're working tomorrow. I said 7.30 and they didn't believe me. Barrett misses with that strike there. Oh, but now again, punch, uppercut, and Santino able to slow it down there, and hit the suplex. And this match feels like it comes down to wrestling versus brawling. What's more effective? Oh, and Barrett with a wrestling maneuver, a sidewalk slam. And I think that's the first one from him today. And brings him up. Oh, what a power slam. Into the cover, is this enough? One, two, no, only a two from Santino. Oh, Santino chopping away. And another slam from Barrett. Boot to the face. Elbows. And Barrett can just hurt you in so many ways here. Oh, and there's that, that big slam. One, two. Oh, only a two count again. And Barrett can't believe it. Both men to their feet. Oh, and Barrett just hits that elbow out of nowhere. Santino looks like he's out cold. One, two, three. Bad News Barrett officially gets his first win in the WWE Universe. Here we can see some of the replays, and through the replays we can see that through the second half of this match it was very much the Bad News Barrett show. Pin attempts after every manoeuvre.
And here it was. You see the shock, the disbelief in Barrett. But he knew what he had to do. Got back up there. And bang! Santino out cold. Dragged him away from the ropes just in case. And got the three count. And he is quite pleased with himself. And now for the main event of main event. We have tag team action for you. We have the primetime players versus the Lucha Dragons. And here come the primetime players and tag teams are hot demands for all WWE shows. Primetime players, this will be the 11th time they have wrestled in six weeks. And while they started the month strong, trading wins back and forth with the tag team champions The New Day, this month has not been so great. This month they are already on a three match losing streak and one of those losses was handed to them by the very people they're facing tonight, the Lucha Dragons. So they are currently four and six. They were one of the highest ranked tag teams at a time, but this loss streak has not helped them there. And here come the Lucha Dragons. And what a story of redemption we have with these guys. These guys started their WWE Universe career by going 0-3. and three. No one thought that they had it in them to compete in this highly competitive and may I say highly African American tag team division. But... They've won their last two matches, bringing them up to two at two wins and three losses. A win here will make them hit 50%. And you've got to think they can really start forwarding their career once they hit that 50% mark. So it looks like we're going to have Titus and Kalisto start the match. And we've seen these guys go against each other so many times. You know, it's really a flip of the coin on any given day. Is the power of Titus O'Neil going to be the deciding factor, or is the speed of the Lucha Dragons going to be too much? It changes from one day to the next. But here you see that power we were talking about with an early fall away slam. But there's that speed. Callisto with the counter. You can see Callisto's chest red already. And oh, that big foot. And if you... If you break a nose or something in one of those masks, I mean, it's got to be hard to breathe already. And now this match is going to the outside. And if I'm Callisto, I don't know if that's where I want to take this match. And here's why. Just getting manhandled by Titus on the outside. A big slam from Titus O'Neil out here could end your career. 
Oh, but... Titus just going for submission maneuver after submission maneuver, trying to wear down Callisto. And now tagging in the fresh Darren Young. Now tag into Sinkara. It's fresh man versus fresh man. Darren Young getting the better of Sinkara for the moment. And Sinkara there sliding out the back with a neck breaker. And Darren Young, he is in the wrong corner right now. We have seen week after week how dangerous double team maneuvers can be. And that is not where he wants to be. Sinkara taking it to him with a series of strikes. And a German suplex. And Darren Young will be looking for a tag when he gets the chance. Oh, look at that backbreaker there. Now Sinkara going to the top rope. Oh, and a splash off the top. Almost a headbutt. Darren Young now firing back. And he is going to go for that tag. Now Titus O'Neill is going to try and slow down Sinkara. Ah. Oh. Big rib breaker there. Not sure what Titus is doing now. Club to the back. Oh, another rib breaker followed up by a... Oh, just tossing him over his head. Oh, and into the cover right in front of Callisto. One, two, only a two count. And... The primetime players are spending this match wrestling in their opponent's corner. That is very reckless. And almost as if Titus could hear me. Makes the tag to Darren, and we're going to see a double team maneuver here. Backbreaker and an elbow drop. Sinkara's next stepping back into the pin. One, and Callisto breaking that up at one. He could see what was coming. Oh, and a DDT. Another cover. Leg drop. No, not a cover leg drop. Elbow drop. And a forearm drop all to the face of Sinkara. Into the cover again. One, but they're wrestling in their opponent's corner. Callisto able to make it there way earlier than Titus. And Sinkara finds himself back in the primetime player's corner. He doesn't want to, doesn't want that to happen again. So, quick reversal and look at that power bomb. And that's left Darren Young lying in the middle of the ring. And now Darren Young finds himself in enemy territory. And he's going to get the double team maneuver. Roll up, picking him up, the strength, oh look at that, spinning clothesline from the top rope. Into the cover, here comes Titus, only a one count. And listen to the crowd going wild. And he buys himself some distance there. And now Callisto in the primetime players. Is it time for some payback? It is. 
There's that backdrop. Oh, the elbow drop from the big man. Into the cover. One, two, three. Sin Cara just too beat up to make it there in time. You saw him dive at what he thought was the last possible moment, but he was too late. And the primetime players have broken their losing streak. This was the first elbow drop that Callisto was right on top of. The Lucha Dragons, their own double team maneuver. You see Titus here. Titus knew that was bad. And he was in right before the one. And here it was, it was when Titus, that massive man, came off the second rope with that elbow drop. Left Callisto laying. Sin Cara groggy from the beating he'd taken. Just not able to judge the timing of that one right. And they are excited that their losing streak is over. has been main event if you have not you can see payback is three weeks away make sure you check out extreme rules that was the last pay-per-view we had title changes guest commentators it was fun we will see you all next time